Hi, this is Max from Dynamixes. In this video, I will explain how to save time during both the tracking and retargeting processes when you have a massive amount of video data. We will use our killer feature, the batch mode. That means that you should already be familiar with creating a tracking and a retargeting profile with Performer. If not, jump into your previous tutorials, creating a tracking profile with Performer and creating a retargeting profile with Performer. You'll need a tracking profile, a retargeting profile, your 3D scene with your character open in Maya, 3ds Max or Cinema 4D, as well as several videos or folder frames that you want to track. After building a first tracking profile, you'll get a fourth icon, switch to the batch mode accessible in the menu. This is a tool to track automatically a massive amount of videos. Until now, we've seen how to import one video at a time. Click the icon to access the menu. A new screen will show up. In this new window, you'll be able to add a list of new videos to track based on your tracking profile. That is why you must make sure your tracking profile is relevant before starting to track massively. You can either click on Create New to create a new session or use existing ones. In case you want to use existing ones, you can go ahead and press select to find an existing one or drag and drop multiple videos. Before we start, I will erase all the animation keys in my 3D scene. It is always better to start with the neutral character. You can click on clear entity set animation keys in the retargeting menu. To create a new tracking session, type a session name We'll select a video file. You can adjust the settings for every video you need to import. For example, I can decide if I want to import and extract this video from the frame 10 to the frame 100. We can also import audio file. Like in the session mode, you can rotate or flip the video. Choose a starting from the timecode and pick an appropriate FPS rate. You can also decide to select a part of the video by adjusting the sliders to a starting and ending frame. Click on Accept. I'll go back and show you the Select Existing Session option. When you click on Select, a window shows you existing sessions. I've just imported one to get the first tracking. I'll click on the box and press Select. I can also go ahead and add multiple videos. So I'll move to my folder and select multiple videos. You can then drag and drop them to the list and click on Apply. In this new window, the same from the new section or selection, I'll choose my settings and click on Apply All to apply them to all videos. You can now check retargeting or export boxes. For the export feature, please jump on the export tracking tutorial. We'll focus on the tracking and the retargeting for now. Check the retargeting box. Make sure the bridge is connected. In the batch mode, I select the face entity set related to my 3D character, which is a list of controllers to drive the face. For retargeting options, please refer to tips for advanced users, refining your animation. I'll click on Apply. My videos are now ready to be tracked and retargeted to my 3D character. My video now appear as new items in the shot name column. We are now ready for our first batch, so we'll click on Start. You'll see the status move from waiting to tracking and solving as the frames got extracted, tracked and solved. I'll go ahead and open the destination folder so you'll see my Maya files getting created. The tracking is still in process. A solving process bar appears and sends the animation keys to Maya. Our first Maya file just appeared in the folder and a green checked mark appeared next to my video in Performer Viewport. When all the videos have been processed, a final report is generated with eventually errors and warnings. 
Warnings can happen if tracking lost the face or if an occlusion happened, for example. The report lists frames from which the tracking and retargeting were not so accurate, so that you can check and rework the related scenes. The report is automatically saved at this location. I have green check marks for every video letting me know that the tracking processed to the end. Let's check the result. When I open my Maya file, I see my tracking session retargeted to the 3D character. Now, a quick tip. You can save your selection in a list by clicking on the Save List button on the left and the bottom of the viewport. It backs up your selection of videos and their settings for tracking and retargeting. If I remove all the selected videos and I click on Slide on the new list, I'll find my list of videos updated with the settings saved. It will be saved in the XML format in the destination folder of your choice. You just have to name it. The XML file can also be used when using the batch in the command line. To compare the retargeting to the tracking, go back to the session mode, open the video, connect with the bridge and play the video in synchronization with the animation. And we can find our sessions automatically tracked and retargeted. It is completely automatic. This is all folks. You can now jump to our advanced user tutorials. If you need more information regarding this feature, shoot us an email at support at dynamicsys.com.